Hello everyone, Pastor Lon here, my beautiful wife Robbie Lynn, here on the homestead, the Harmony Acres homestead. You know, we've been promising y'all a video on uh, Robbie Lynn making our own bread. I'm going to tell them why we first started, uh, got the idea of wanting to make bread, or where we got the idea from to make bread. Actually, uh, brother and sister R, they went to a revival in, was it North Carolina or Tennessee? Tennessee. Tennessee, and they met these people that had... Uh, been making grinding their own wheat and making their own bread and they were telling them about the health benefits that they got from it and where they you know got their start from and so i looked into it and started doing my own research and found out that it's well you can't you can't describe the benefits it's got anyway they told us where they went and got their wheat berries and their information so i started looking it up and it was um bread beckers and I think I mentioned them on here. We mentioned mm -hmm. them on here before. So I went to YouTube and watched her videos and just, you know, got all the information I could from her. She's got uh, um, CDs that you can listen to. You can order them online. Anyway, I went and ordered my um, a grinder from them and a couple buckets of wheat that, to just get me started. And, and we went from there. And but the reason I wanted to is because of all the health benefits that, that they had heard the people that we knew had already um, done it and got health benefits. So it wasn't just hearsay. It was, they knew, they seen these people, they stayed yeah. with them during revival and they told them how, you know, and plus they tasted the bread while they yes. were up there and said yes. how delicious it was. And, and like you said earlier, we'll make sure we give all the credit to bread All my information that I got was from bread beckers. Yeah. I, I researched her and she's got, um, what would you call it? Where she goes and talks to people. What would you call it? Like Sem seminar. Something like that. She'll go to different um, and she, places and she's got like three hour seminars. But and she's very nice. You, you know, and I met her when we went to, we and actually she, went to the Bread Becker store. They have you, a store or you can order online. And she's I very know, knowledgeable yeah, too. Though. Ordering online is, the, the shipping is very expensive, but you can join a co-op. They have different areas that they they have like a co-op and they deliver to different p places mm -hmm. you know but it's cheaper that way if you do that so i did join the co-op so next time i order i'll probably go through them but um some of the about different the different types know, of our wheat there's a hard wheat and a soft wheat and the hard wheat is what you would use you can use hard red or white to make the mm -hmm. um the yeast bread, mm -hmm. it, something in the hard wheat, I think it was like the um, gluten or something in mm -hmm. it, to make it rise. So the soft wheat is what you would use for like your biscuits and cookies and pastries, the soft stuff that you would, like the but, soft wheat. But then you say, didn't you say something like the red wheat was more like a nutty, more flavorful yeah, she taste? Said, uh, Miss Sue Becker, she's the one that's, um, she owns the, her and her husband and another couple on mm -hmm. the Red Beckers, but she says she likes the taste of the Red Wheat best because she said it's got a little nutty flavor to it. Mm -hmm. But she said you wouldn't want to use that for like pizza dough, anything that you didn't want to taste the um, that flavor, then you wouldn't want to use the Red Wheat. Right. But what I've done is she recommended if you didn't know, you know, if you like the red or white, I use two parts of the white and one part red in my biscuit. And you, and, I mean, I'm, my bread. Can you tell more about that once we yeah. get to that portion of it? Yeah, but anyway, she was giving some of the um, her seminars. She said the the wheat is considered to be a pretty much a perfect food. Mm -hmm. It's got ninety percent of all the vitamins and minerals that our body needs. Right, ninety percent. Right. That means that you can almost live off of pretty wheat. much could live off of it. Off the bread, yeah. Yep. Just a few other in, um, nutrients. It's got forty. Of the 44 nutrients that your body needs to sustain life. Hmm, that's amazing. That's amazing. And if it's left intact, the, the wheat berry, then it's, um you can put it in like the food grade buckets and keep, make sure you don't have, make sure you keep it dry and keep the rodents out of it. And it's, it'll, it'll um, store it. Indefinitely. Yeah. yeah, forever. So that's, um and guess who created it that way? God. God. He created the wheat berry with the little wheat germ, and it's got that vitamin E in there to sustain it's like life. A, it's like it's in a capsule. As long as it's in that capsule. Intact. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they even found some in uh, on Egyptian tombs 
like 3,000 years old when they planted it and the wheat grew. That's amazing. Now, that is amazing. That's, amazing. That's about like honey. Yeah. Honey. Long lasting. I guess if you got wheat, wheat berries and some honey, you're good to go. Plus, it, it's, it's, it's more uh, cost it's, yeah, it's efficient. It's cheaper to make your own bread. Super than it is. I don't know how much a loaf of bread is now. I haven't bought one. Uh, no, we haven't won't buy much bread now. I don't know how long I've been doing this, really. But, but it's, as far as the, um, like from, we said, God. From a biblical standpoint, yeah. it even tells you in um, John uh, John chapter 6, verse 48, it talks about Jesus said, I am that bread of life. Yeah. And, and he even con con um, compared himself to the kernel of the wheat. He did, before his death. Yeah. It talks about that in John 12, 24, when he says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except the corn fall, a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it brings forth much fruit. So he so, was firm to himself. He had to die to, to give break, us life. That's exactly right. So the wheat germ, you have to crack it open to and give it, us, sustain us life that's and, right. and the food. Within 72 hours of grinding that wheat, or that berry, it starts to, um, the, Losing its, the nutrients start. 90% yeah. of 30, of over 30 nutrients are gone after 72 hours. So that's why they say, grind it as you need it. She, she Which, grinds her berries as she uses, like if she got a recipe that's gone, she's gonna, well, she probably makes like six loaves at a time. But I usually make either a two pound loaf, one two pound loaf in my bread machine, or either I make two, one pound loaves in the oven in my Pullman pans, and that's what I gr I grind just enough for that, and use it, you know, when I grind it. Well, that goes back to the Bible too. When uh, God fed the children of Israel, He made He rained manna from heaven daily, yep. as they needed it, not store it up forever, which is what man's. He made uh, a perfect plan. But, he did. But he did. Guess who stepped in and messed it up? Uh, same thing. Same person missing everything else. Man. Man. They wanted Matter fast. Convenient. And, and that really started back in what, 1920s? Yeah. Something like she that? She said like in the 1920s is when they started getting the, the they changed the grain mills from like the little, I guess the community grains and started doing it industrial. And then they started stripping all the uh, the bran and the- um, The germ, the, the germ, germ oil, yeah, all that. Strip yep. that out of it to make refined flour that would last on the shelf. Forever, months but months. it has no value to it. They, they took all the nutrients. They took all the good out. stuff they out of it. it and took that brand and that yeah. germ out. That's it. I mean, it's like a time clock. Like, Once you crack that, um, mm -hmm. it, it starts uh, that kernel. It, it starts, starts losing value. It starts pretty much dying. Yeah. So, I mean, once they started doing that, they just messed it up. And what they do it for convenience? Convenience. They it wanted it now. Me. The ladies. But money and greed yeah. too. Cause see, like the um, back in the day, the woman. They would either go to the community grinding meal or whatever and get their flour for the day and or either grind their own and they made their loaves well, of bread for like, I don't know if they probably made two or three to well, last in the week. But. Like, I think you might have said it there, said it there they, they traded their health for convenience. Yeah. You know, that, that was the, you know, convenience or laziness, however you want to look at it, but yeah, and then after they would just go to the store and buy a loaf of bread. Yeah. Because so, after the 1920s, after they started doing that, depleting the um, the nutrients out of the, the grain, the flour, it was just the white oh. flour, that's when all the health problems started come surfing, surfing. This is true. This is true. You didn't hear about as much sickness back in the day mm -hmm. when they used to um, make their own bread the way it's supposed to be made. Now we're going along with this processed foods and especially with the, the refined stuff with the white flour. When it you just, think of all the stuff that's got flour in it. A lot. But uh, yeah. Cookies, yeah. crackers, everything. But it's up to no value, and it's causing more harm than good. I mean, she does, goes in depth, though, to tell you she all does. kinds of diseases. But she yeah. went to college, and she was into all the um, help, the mm -hmm. food stuff. Some kind, of, she got some kind of degree in some kind of food stuff and all. But like I said, before the 1920s, they would go to the mill, grind their flour, either grind it in the home, and they had a place. It was kind of like a, a community. Where they got Central together location. and, and yeah. fellowship, kind of like what Justin's Same trying thing to do. Justin's doing at Metcalf Meals. We'll leave a link down <clears throat> below again for his channel. Yeah, he's got that thing where he's trying to start those meals and sell them. So yeah, he, Kickstarter, I think that's what John, uh, Billy Nims calling it, and we're going to try to support that. We encourage you to do the same thing. Yeah. But when he, when the 
devil got into it and man got into it and took away well, all the um, community. It took away the fellowship. Like the, um, the meal hills and stuff where they used yeah. to have the little meals and stuff. It was twofold. He took away the, the nutrient or uh, nutritious part of the, of the bread and he took away the fellowship of the community. Yeah. I think I heard Justin say that one time on a video. He took the heart of the community when, he, when that happened. Yeah. Um, but I hear Miss Josie a lot of times use this verse. I, I looked up, I saw this verse. It said, well, this is Proverbs two, 31. two Proverbs. Yeah. What, the first one is 14 and 1. Every wise woman buildeth her house, but the foolish plucketh it down with her hands. And then Proverbs 31 and 27 said, this is the one I hear Miss Josie say a lot. She looketh well to the ways of her household, and she eateth not the bread of idleness. idleness. Which is what I would consider white flour. Yeah. And, Which I would and consider. So we're not perfect. We're yeah. just now getting on to the. That's right. When Miss Sue Becker that said they somebody asked about how much of it could you eat. Well, she like like we compare it to Jesus said, I am the bread of life or whatever. She said, how much Jesus you want? You can eat as much Jesus as you want. So we well, know. we're living testimony. What is not absolutely. It, your other bread, it would it would cause you to be bloated or constipation or many different things and put on more weight. But by the time you started eating, time I started eating it, it started it started cleaning me out. Jordan. It makes you go to the bathroom and yep. we eat as much as we want. And some days I'll just I, eat bread. And me too. I'll eat it in the morning. I get up and get a cup of coffee. I'll get the bread and um I put some butter on real it. Real butter. Real butter. And melt that a little bit. And I'll either put Robbie Lynn's homemade apple butter on it or either uh, some honey we got from different people brought us or either um, what Billy and them sent us from uh, Perm Passage Farm. But that would be my breakfast in the morning. Bread, butter, either apple butter or either uh, honey on it. Or either all three. Or all three. <laughs> apple butter, regular butter. I just put butter, butter on honey. mine or either put an oven with cheese But on I it. can tell the difference in the way I feel. And it gives you like more I said, energy. It gives you more energy and it keeps you, uh, like I said, it keeps you... Keeps your bowels moving, which is a part of your health. That's one thing Miss Sue said, right? That she ate that bread one day, and the next day she went to the bathroom, and she had a problem with constipation. Yeah. And, and plus, she said there's people that were on, uh, I don't know if she said she was, or somebody she knew was on constant nasal mm -hmm. spray or whatever because mm -hmm. of the um, congestion and stuff yeah. in there. And, and that cleared that up. Cleared it up. Most with the bread and a lot of those things on the on the planet, God's given us everything we need to survive. But if man's we trying to mess with enough. God's plan. This is true. We'll go to the um, wheat grinder and the wheat, and I'll show you the difference in the red red berries and the and also you can do the corn in my um, grinder. Make cornbread. Bread, homemade corn cornbread. Yeah. So we got on board with this, like I said back when um, when brother and sister Art told us about it, and then met Miss Sue Becker and all this is coming, all this information like Robin and said comes from her. Miss Sue Becker is where you really need to go if you want to find out the most information about she it. Is she is top man. notch. And then check out um, Justin over at Metcalf Mills and uh, you'll, you'll get all the information about that Kickstarter that's going on with that um, that program he's got. And, uh, but I will say since all this has been going on in the, in the world, I've tried to order wheat since then from from um Fred Becker's and they're they're, they're out. out. It's, it's on back order. So you had to order from somewhere else. I, I found another company that I ordered some from. I did see where a a a standard. I think it is. I hadn't ever ordered from them. Don't ask me to help you. With it's that more one. of a like it's another place where you like um you would have to go and meet like at a co-op. I got you. I got you. Anyway, they had some in, and I did. I started an order with them, but I hadn't because I'm on, I don't know about the. Pickup well, times and stuff. But even if you can get it ordered and get it shipped, it's still worth the money to pay it for the health benefits. You know. But, I mean, if you're talking about prepping or storing food, yeah. that's 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 the way to that's go. That's number one on my list. It is. It is. I have the grain. Yeah. Because if I got that, I mean, as long as you got the grind that, then you got everything else to make it well, with. Well, the grinder's electric. If we lose electricity, lose electricity, but I got hand hand grind. Grind, yeah. It might take longer, but you can still eat. Hey, we use that solar generator. We got we have to. Some of them's got a little thing where you can it's on um, use the um that battery powder power powder yep. power screwdriver. Yep. yep, that'll work. Um, I'm gonna tell you, no joke. If you start making your own bread, making it uh, the, the right way, you never want regular light bread or loaf bread again well, from the store. It, when I've had tried wheat bread, wheat bread from the store, 
You couldn't hardly eat it. It's not Nasty. the same. It's not the same. That wheat bread right there that she makes. Oh man, that's just it's just unbelievable. I c I couldn't believe it was that good. I thought it was gonna turn out like a, a brick. I can't get enough of it. And oh, then because that's what the ones in the store. And, and then you come in, the, you know, they're like a brick no or like or like cardboard and bland. Yeah, but man, she, the house smells so so good when Rob is cooking that, I've baking done, that bread. I've done the um, loaves of bread. I've done the um, rolls, mm, dinner rolls. Yeah, those were good. And I've even tried the um, bagels. Well, that what you made pizza out of too? Then. Pizza. I've done pizza crust. That was delicious. So, that was like a deep. deep basically, deep. unless you eat a lot of stuff that you would like to eat, but you can't eat it because of the bad bread or what it does, it clogs you up and makes you gain weight and not good for you. I have not All gained this. a pound since I've been eating like this. As a matter of fact, I've lost. Yeah. So and the I benefits are there. I've eaten as much bread as I want. I've always been one digging into help. Help. I've yeah. always. My family's always on that. I'm a, I'm a freak when it comes to that. I've always investigated and looked up ways to stay healthy. Yeah. I might not always do everything I look up, but I like to know that information and you know I like to and stay as healthy and without doctors as I can. And so, and when I found this, I was like, man, that's just that's and a then, rare answer. What I like about the bread part is with it being whole and being healthy and like it's supposed to be. Then it go back to the Bible and it's got scripture to back it up. And that's what God intended it. That's what he intended for us to And eat. since we've been doing Brilliant. this, I've seen so many other people yep. getting on board with yep. it, with grinding their own wheat. And I've seen uh Whip a wheel holler. Yeah, Miss yep, Lori. Lori. Yep. She's got she's got her own wheat grinder and started ordering wheat and stuff. But I mean and it's just uh, well, wake up people. That's right. You know? That's right. But even if you're not doing it for your health, I mean if it, you got to eat, so that's a cheap way to it is. feed your family. And it's good. It's delicious. Yeah. So, anyway, well, we'll, uh, unless you got something you want to add to this part, we'll, the next part will be you grinding it. Yeah, questions about the, um, yeah, leave comments I'll tell you below. what I know, but I'll send you to Sue Becker. Yeah. She's got Instagram and she's got YouTube. I don't know about, I know she's got Instagram and YouTube. Well, I like Miss Sue, she's just as nice, friendly, ain't the store working like the rest of the people in her store, and Talked to us, took a picture She's of a good us. She is a good Christian lady and let us uh, um, the video things in the store. And that's a good thing too about the seminar. She incorporates Christ in that. She goes to churches or wherever. Yeah. So, I would love to get her to come to our church. And me too. Now, this is some of the um, buckets of wheat I ordered. I got a marked on the outside, which I got the gamma lids here. It, it don't come with the gamma lid, but you can order the gamma lid. Yep. That one's about on this empty. I got another okay. one to go in it. But this is the hard white, and it comes from Becker's. But then, if you don't want to store this whole bucket in the house, which I, I can store these mm -hmm. in the barn and just bring in enough yep. in the gallon hard white. This is what the hard white looks like. Look at that. So the, this is the hard red, which my bucket lid tells me this is red mm -hmm. right here. Mm -hmm. And it tells me this is white. Right. Then I got the um, soft white in another bucket with a blue lid. So I got real white and blue. But I don't. I hadn't used the soft white yet because I hadn't made biscuits and stuff with it. But then I got a bucket of the corn to grind too. So that's the red, the hard red, and the hard white. And the corn. And y'all, I'm dressed like this because I get just got back from revival. I'm not just dressed like this for no reason. And this is my Wonder Meal. Okay, we're gonna show y'all the um, grinding process of the wheat. This is my Wonder Meal. I purchased this from um, Fred Becker's. I'll put the link in the description, but they do make cheaper grinders. I do have a manual one, like I said. I um, said so this is a good one, and Miss Sue says it's good, so I believe Miss Sue Baker, and it's an investment into our health, so I think it was worth it. This is the little top that um, it, just, it just keeps dust from going in there, and they send you an extra little filter, which goes on the top of this into the um, little can. It's like a flower canister. Mine's been used. You can see. I'm sure everybody don't clean their flower canister out every time they use it. 
And then this is just a little cup that catches like the, um, when you're grinding, it'll catch like the, I guess the little husk or whatever, but you can use that and do it in your flour. And please, whatever you do, make sure you hear that snap. Oh, yeah. If that ain't snap and this is not in the hole, guess what you got? A mess. A mess, and I've had a couple of messes. So I'll try to make sure that, make sure that snap on, because as soon as you turn this on and put them beans in there, I mean the grain in there, it's, it's going to start chomping. And um, my instructions um, say you're supposed to turn the meal on before you put the wheat in the hopper. And I need, uh, my recipe calls for four and four to four and a half cups of fresh meal flour, which means I need three cups of grains. And like I said, I mix my hard white and hard, hard white and hard red. I use two white and one red. This is a half measure, so. That'll be one and a half. Some of them berries get away from me. Is that two? Mm, that's a little. That's a little less. Don't yeah, don't let any of those get away from me. That's like, that's like gold right there now. Oh, yeah. But you can't hardly find it anymore. So then I'm gonna turn my um be on on, it's gonna be loud. First time I used it, I didn't read that. Yep. I guess if you don't turn it on before, some of the berries could get in there and get. And this is the little. I didn't show you all this. It's got um three different courses. It's got pastry. So if I was making something with soft white wheat, like biscuits or something, I'd turn it to that. And then for my bread, and then for the course is what I use for the um corn. Like if I'm making cornmeal or something, I'll turn it to course. But that's mostly what I use it for right there. You can have a mess when you're making bread anyway, so. And there's your healthy flour. Wonderful flour. I just there's never a lot in there. It's just a you need a um, cup and a half of hot water, and I just use the hottest tap water I got. They say it's like supposed to be like a hundred under a hundred and ten, but at least like a hundred from a hundred to a hundred and ten is a very long. So this is um. Hold on a minute. Turn back around. I'll show you a new shirt. I got water on it. I got a homestead honey too. That came from Permanent Pastures Farm. Yep. So this is the recipe I've been using, and I've all I've been told take one recipe at a time and get it, you know, get used to it. This is um Brad Becker's recipe collection. She's got a, a wealth of knowledge in here too. All kinds of I recommend it. 
If you can't buy anything else from there, get their book. Mm -hmm. And she's got the CDs, which the CDs are free if you um, order from them. So this is the one I use, and it can be used in this. I don't know how you say that. Zojirushi. This is my brand machine that I ordered from Brand Becca's too, and it's you know they make a lot, a lot of brand machines, and there's a lot of um, cheaper ones out there. You can buy them from Walmart. I seen Walmart have one. I think it was like half price. I'll link that in the description. I don't think this one, but About this one here, she said, will last and last and last, and she recommended it. So, but this is the one that the basic dough recipe for the automatic bread recipe. But you don't have to use the bread machine to make bread. You can use the, this bread machine, and I guess I, all the other ones. It will um, knead your dough for you if you don't have electric. I mean, a stand mixer because it, it's a lot of work on a mixer to knead the bread. I got a KitchenAid and it's, if you mix a lot, more than one batch, it's, it's tough on it. But I am ordering me one like, you know, she recommended. But um, this will knead it for you and mix it for you. And you just, it'll let you know it'll be, it's got different settings on here, different cycles for basic bread, quick bread, wheat, and it'll make jam, sourdough starter. It's got all kinds of, um, settings on there and different things you can do with it. But I mainly use it, I either bake the bread, I either let the whole recipe go through and bake it on its own, or either I let it mix, take it out, and I either bake a loaf bread or either I can bake the rolls with it or whatever. If I don't mix it in the mixer, I use this to mix it. So today we're just gonna let this mix it. All you do is um, dump your uh, water honey salt and egg in here and your um, lecithin and then half the flour Th then you put your yeast on top and let it go just turn it on and let it go and it, i keep an eye on it when it first starts mixing because sometimes you know it depends on the weather or your uh, elevation elevation of how how wet it'll be or how dry you want to, you don't want it too wet so i just watch it and if it needs a little sprinkle of um extra flour i put that on there so let's go, my water. I need a cup and a half hot water. Okay, that's my cup and a half of water. And I'm gonna put my one third cup of oil. Can you hand me a little spatula? Revving right under in the corner. Third, third cup of oil. One third cup of honey. One farm fresh egg. From Harmony Acres Homestead. I'll right, just give that egg a stir, break it up. Like I said, if you wasn't using this, you would be doing all this in a bowl. And two tablespoons of lecithin. You can order this from like Walmart or um, Amazon or Red Becker's. Two teaspoons of salt. I've about got this recipe written on memorized. <clears throat> Maybe everybody can write it down as you go and, and we'll still try to leave it in the description, but y'all can write it down and play it back and make sure you get the information. Then I'm gonna put half of my flour in and I need four to four and a half cups. So I'm gonna put two cups in. This is a cup measure right here. And I'm gonna stir that around a little bit. And it's not, you don't necessarily have to do this. I just like to get it, get that egg incorporated in there. Two more cups in there. I might have to, this, this is where it says, you know, depends on the half cup, if you're gonna need the half cup or not. Tablespoon of yeast. This is the kind of yeast. It don't have to be this. I, I got the little packets of the yeast that I got from Walmart too, but this is just a 
I keep this in the refrigerator. I'll bake a little whale and put that in there. Also, I keep this in the refrigerator together. My recipe. And the recipe calls for, uh, is this is optional, a teaspoon of gluten. I don't put that in there. You don't have to, but you can. I just don't. And then we're just gonna put this baby down and I got it on quick wheat bread. And it's a two hour cycle. And it's neat. And like I say, at this point, I watch it a little bit to make sure it's got enough flour. And if it don't, I have this little bit of extra flour that I have in this jar that I'll just add a little bit to make sure it's getting to the consistency that not too wet and not too dry. I just like, I always, I'm over here peeking and sometimes when it's baked, if I let it bake in here, I'll see it pick it up. I mess it up because it's like on the side a little bit and I'll fall in the middle. This is what, if you had it in a bowl, you would be mixing it up with a um, spoon or spatula or whatever, or either in the mixer. But if you did this in a, in a bowl, you would have to mix it up like that and get it to the consistency, and then you would have to take it out and knead, knead, knead for 12 minutes. Well, this is, you would have to knead it for like five or six minutes. And I have done that, but. Why do it till we have to? This is looking a little damp. Probably gonna add a little bit more flour on top of there. It depends on the day and the weather, I'm telling you. Too much flour is gonna be like a, a, a dense loaf of bread. It's amazing that they make machines that do this to me. I mean, who thought of this? Some rich guy, or some rich lady. These are not cheap, but like I said, it's an investment. Well, a big a, a mixer that's coming. Well, and guess what? That's gonna be for my birthday present. I see. I see. Spend your money on stuff like this. That's gonna help sustain your family instead of leaving it up in the bank and with the dollar losing its value. That's right. It's gonna be worth nothing. See, it said four to four and a half cups, and that was probably four that I put in there. So. Lining up now, baby. Yeah, well, she's doing the jig now. So how long does that take to do that? The two, eating the process? Whole, the whole thing is like two hours. That's baking and all? Yeah. 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 I see, it goes through two rises. It'll rise, then it'll break it down, then it rises again. But if you were doing, I'm gonna do one, another video without using this. I'm gonna mm -hmm. do it like the natural way. So when do you close this down? That's when you see that it's like yeah. you want it. Yeah. So those little mixers go one way for a little for a while, and so then they're they, going this way. Then they turn around and go back the other way. Mm -hmm. See, it's it's kind of sticky, but it's not real wet. Yeah. But if you do this by hand, it takes more flour. Because you have to use flour on it. Which makes a more dense loaf. But I just like to see her and watch it. It's amazing to me. If you watch it, you'll catch it turning back around. Three different courses you could adjust, like if you didn't want it to need that much or mm -hmm. rise as much. That's a good other way. You can put your own settings in there. Yeah. It also has a preheat on here too, but you can turn it on or off. I got 
cut it off. So the process is two hours from that's kneading and baking if you do it all in here. This this quick method, yeah. yeah. And it don't always turn out pretty. No, but it always tastes good. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it flops in the middle. We ain't looking for pretty. We're looking for quality. It's alive. That's where it is. Ain't that like that dead stuff you buy off the shelf? They don't have any nutritional value to it. I would encourage any and everybody that can to start making their own bread. You have to make it the old-fashioned way or buy something like this, but you can definitely do it without the machine. Yes, I know. Well, you gonna do one like that? But we're going to go ahead and shut her down and let her do the kneading. How long again do you say it takes for the kneading and then the rise? This cycle that I'm using, it'll knead for 25 minutes. Okay. Then it'll uh, rise. The first rise will be eight minutes and it'll stir it down real quick. And then the second rise is 35 minutes. And then it bakes for 55 minutes. And then it's got a keep warm cycle on here that you can keep. Uh, you know, you keep it warm. I was away from the house. I wanted mm -hmm. to start at certain times so it'd be ready when we got back. Gotcha. That's one of the good things about that. Like I said, you, you can accomplish making bread without the machine. Okay, the um, machine just beat and told me my bread's ready. Look at her. And that's what she looks like. Didn't rise as as it has before but like I said it depends on the um, temperature and humidity but I'm gonna get that out and let you see what it looks like this machine does tend to um bake it a little darker than I usually do in the oven it's got a decent rise on it but I'm gonna take it over here and um my photographer's not with me right this minute I usually take it out and um, just let it lay on its side and cool down a little. See, it makes it darker than I would like on the bottom, but I'll let it sit right there and kind of um, finish baking up in the middle. And when it cools down, I'll come back and show you what it looks like when I cut it. Okay, it's cool enough that I'm going to be cutting it right now. And somebody, my cameraman is back and he's going to do a taste test. Cameraman. Yep. And this is a little um, red cutter I ordered from Amazon. It's got the little, you can, it's, you can gauge the slices and plus it's got a little thing under here that catches, catches the crumbs and you can clean it out after you collect enough crumbs, I guess, and get yep. to the chickens. A4. So you can move it as, as the loaf gets smaller, you can move it with it. Yep. So before I taste it though, we're showing off your uh, new shirt. Check this out. Look what I got. Got me a new Permapasture shirt. Permapasture's form. Go check them out. Thank y'all, Billy, Michelle, William. Yeah, she's got a sourdough video out. You need to go check Yep, need to go check her out. Sourdough bread. I hadn't got into that yet, but I am going to start me a sourdough. Cut me a slice. You want a big or a small? A small. I don't have two of them today. One for breakfast and one for lunch. Miss 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 uh, Becker said uh, you can have as much Jesus as, as you want. So I've been taking her up on it. This is the end piece. So. Mm. I don't know if you probably need to bring it over here to see it good. Hold this, I'll get you some butter. Okay, that's what the inside of the bread looks like. It's like a, a normal loaf of bread. You get out of the, um, do you want butter on yours, dear? Mm-hmm. Show me this the butter handy, you got dandy. from Becker's. Yeah, I got this from Becker's. Now that's pretty cool right there. Take a stick of butter and sit it out and let it get kind of soft and then you just put it in this little, um, pack, can it, in pack it in there and smooth it and then you got this little dish that holds like, I don't know, have, what, about an inch of water? Something like that. Cool water, and you, and it keeps the butter, and you just change the um, 
water around every three days or so, and it just keeps keeps your butter. And when you and it keeps it soft, so when you spray easy it, to spray it's easy it. to spray. I love it. Yep. I got that from Bread Bakers when we went up to the store. So how's it taste? Here's the bread. It's delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Lovely. Lovely and healthy. Mm. Mm -hmm. But like I said, I am going to um, be doing another video, not using the bread machine, but um, doing it on, in my Pullman pan. I'll put the links to um, the bread machine, the wheat grinder, and what else was I going to do? Bread, bread makers. And of course, that's where I got the wheat from, but they're out of wheat right now. And I'll put the link for this um, bread cutter in there too. Put all that in there. It's a pretty handy little thing right there. Yeah, it is. But after I um, after my life cools like that, I'll take and put it into um, take some um plastic wrap. Just wrap her up until until we get it um small enough to fit in a ziplock. Then I'll ziplock it up. Just keep it free. It don't last too long. It either. don't take long to make it to the Ziploc bag. No, no they don't. But that's our bread. Like I said, I don't like it as well in the um, bread machine because it makes the um, crust too dark for me, even if I put it on light. But it's still good bread. That's it for this loaf. Till next time. Till next time what? You tell. Remember. <laughs> huh? Jesus Christ loves you, and Jesus Christ is the answer for anything and everything you're going through in life. Amen. She's been listening. <laughs>